Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. I'm so excited because today I'm going to be talking about yet another new perfume that I've added to my collection. After filming my five most complimented perfumes, you guys went crazy in the comments and gave me so many good suggestions and I got so many views on that video, so thank you guys so much. So I decided I would go through the comments and I would pick a perfume that was recommended to me to try out. And I'm pretty excited because I'm going to be trying out and reviewing Valentina by Valentino. This is just the box that the lotion comes in. I got the lotion and the perfume. So yeah, it's obviously very sleek and elegant. It looks high end as everything does by Valentino, but this is not the important part, of course. This is the important part, which is this beautiful bottle it comes in and it has three roses or flowers up on the top. I believe they look like roses to me and it has like a light pinky color to it, but it's more like a rose, rose pink. It has this really nice hardware on the top. It says Valentino in the silver and it just looks really, really beautiful on a dresser, which is where I keep all my perfumes because I just think they're so classy to show off. But this perfume is floral and very sweet, but also very mature. And it's really special to find a perfume like that. Um, usually you get a perfume that has this very florally fruity smell and it's just too sweet and it smells too young, but this is super beautiful. It smells classy. I feel like it totally elevates your look because your smell helps your outfit. Not really, but it you, you know what I mean. It helps your aura. So the main notes of this are orange blossom, jasmine, and tuberose. I do really like jasmine, but obviously my favorite scent is rose, which is actually not in this at all, but the tuberose and the jasmine together kind of give off a rosy smell. And I also love perfumes that have notes of vanilla in them. I just am so drawn to vanilla. And this also has that, it's a middle note, and also truffle as well, which I love chocolate so much. So anything with like, with a truffle or chocolate or a rich smell also makes me, you know, uh, just, this is so good. This also has wild strawberry and I love strawberries. I love strawberries. And that's an interesting, more fruitier scent than I'm used to in my perfumes. But I think when the scent is strawberry, it's just a little lighter and less fruity smelling. And they definitely have the proportion of the notes correct. Like nothing smells too much of anything in this perfume. Also a good thing to note that the base is amber and cedar and amber also gives that rich, luxurious smell. So I'm just going to spray it and just tell you, describe like what it makes me feel inside. Tell you all the adjectives that come to mind all at once, okay? Okay, here we go. So floral, rich, luxurious, elegance, class. Oh, it's just so good. I've been wearing this the past week, so it smells a little different in the air than it does on my body. In the air, it smells a bit fruitier, actually. So I smell that strawberry. Where on my body, it smells more rich. I smell the vanilla, and I also smell the truffle and the jasmine. I think that's interesting to note that it will smell different on your skin depending on your body chemistry. And I always think that's fun about perfumes because you know, you, it's almost like your own scent in a way. Yeah, I really do love this, and this is definitely a new favorite in the collection. I always still grab for my Coco Chanel Mademoiselle and my just Coco Chanel the perfume, but this is up there. This is up there. I really, I really do enjoy this. I probably should have reviewed this first before I just sprayed that perfume. This is the lotion, and it is, I mean, any of the lotions that come with perfumes are just so luxurious, and I try to save it to wear on special occasions. So, you know, I'm not wasting it because it's not a lot of lotion to cover your whole body. But when you're trying to go out and look elegant and classy and give this aura off, then that's the time that you use your expensive lotions. And to me, they smell very similar. This is obviously the scent in this is a little more faint because if you, if it was as rich as the perfume, we would all be like, <clears throat> as you were walking by, if you wore, decide to wear it all. So it's very light, but the thing that's really nice about this is if you put the lotion on and then you let that dry a little bit and then you spray the perfume, your perfume actually lasts longer because on hydrated skin, perfume 
last longer because there are alcohols and perfumes. So yeah, this is great and it's super luxurious. Oh, that was a lot. The other beautiful thing about this lotion is it actually has a shimmer to it, but it's not a cheap looking shimmer. It's like, you know, you had Fenty Beauty highlighter in your lotion, which is a total bonus because I love to glow. I'm actually going to try to give a close up of my hand so you can see if you guys can see that in the camera. <laughs> no, I have to rub this in, but I don't know if you could see the shimmers in it, but I'm just also gonna show you what it looks like on my arm, which I didn't put lotion on today, so you'll get a full effect of what this will look like. I'll put it on my other arm too. Yeah, it's and it's super silky. It's just like a really nice lotion. And, and the lotion does have a little bit more of the jasmine and the floral scent to it than the perfume. The perfume's a little more rich smelling with the vanilla and the truffle in it. The lotion also has that, but I think there is less of it in the lotion, if I'm being completely honest. But it does give a really nice silky look to your skin, and it has that glow to the skin. I don't know if you can see that at all, but from here, it looks like my skin is super hydrated and really beautiful. So it's definitely something that I would say you should also purchase with the perfume and just totally go all the way with the Valentino perfume and again this perfume was Valentina by Valentino it's very cute it's almost like oh you know the Valentina so of course I am now obsessed with this perfume we'll see how long that lasts until I get another one because you guys left me so many comments I'm sure I'm gonna be trying them all it's gonna get expensive so if you want to donate to my perfume fund, let me know. As always, I will link the products down below so you can check them out and see if you want to purchase them for yourself. I truly recommend this perfume. Out of my top five, I would have to say this is now number three and I'm bumping Because It's You by Alfani to number four. I just think this is exquisite. Exquisite. Interesting. I just really think this perfume is lovely, so definitely try it out. I also wanted to get your opinion on my lip and see if you like it. I normally go for nudes and burgundy colors and reds, like classic red, but this is a fuchsia and it's beautiful and it's by Ofra and they have the best liquid lip. So if you haven't tried Ofra liquid lips, you definitely need to try them. They dry down matte, but your lips still look moisturized and nice. It doesn't give you that crunchy feeling, but they last and they don't smudge that much. They smudge a little bit, but it's not like all over. It doesn't like come out of your lip line. Yeah, it's great. I like it better than the ones that are there for like 24 hours and they dry out your lips. Ugh, don't like that. So this color is called Santorini. If you like it, I'll link this down below too. I love the formula. The formula is great. I'm just wondering about the color because I never usually wear like these bright fuchsia colors, but it does, it's deeper, but I don't know. I just was like, I'm going to put this on today. So yeah, I think my sister got it in her boxy charm and she just kind of handed it over to me because she's more of a neutrals girl too, but gotta dig it, especially for the summer. So let me know what you guys think. If you think it's a win or if you think I should stick to my neutrals and my wine colors and my red. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm super pumped about all this perfume I'm going to get to try. I'm so glad you liked my five most complimented perfume videos. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Valentina by Valentino perfume and the lotion. I'm just so excited about everything. And if you guys don't know, I am a singer and songwriter, so make sure you check out my album. It's on Spotify and it's on Apple Music and it's self-titled Carolyn Marie, it's me. And you can also find it on my store at www.carolynmariemusic.com backslash store. And if you purchase a hard copy, I'll sign it for you. And we have t-shirts and pop sockets for sale as well if you wanna check those out. Your support means the world to me and yeah, they're cool too, so why not? But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching again and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.